Hello everyone, uh, I am back with uh, another video. This video is concerned about uh, the thermodynamics uh, or you can say the turbo machinery, the thermodynamics of turbo machines. Uh, in this I will be analyzing uh, D-level turbine. D-level turbine is a single stage. Uh, the main important features are it's a single stage turbine, it's a axial flow turbine and it is an impulse turbine. So if it is an impulse turbine, degree of reaction is going to be zero uh, and uh, hence VR1 is equal to VR2. If degree of reaction is zero, VR, uh, the relative velocities are going to be the same. So just remember that. And since it is an axial flow turbine, the uh, blade speed is also going to be constant. So U is going to be constant. So U1 equal to U2. Uh, you have to remember those two. Whenever it is an impulse turbine and it is an axial flow turbine, you need to remember that. And uh, coming to the analysis of a D-level turbine, uh, we should know the velocity triangles and uh, also the energy equation. These are the prerequisites here. I hope you know those. I will just uh, directly draw the triangle and write the equation and I will not uh, go into in detail about uh, how the triangles are formed. Um, I will just explain the terms here. Uh, in this, I, have, I might have used different notations but uh, the meaning all, all are the same. Uh, they all mean the same. So yeah, uh, this is the inlet triangle and this is the outlet triangle. Uh, V1 and V2 are the yeah, V1 and V2 are the absolute velocities. VA1 and VA2 are the axial velocities. VR, v, uh, VR. Uh, since they are constant, VR1 equal to VR2. So I have named it as VR both. There is no one and two for that. Uh, they are the relative velocities. And uh, U is the blade speed and uh, u is always between the relative velocity and absolute velocity so here also you can see it's between uh, relative velocity and absolute velocity uh, and uh, this uh, this vr u1 is this uh, tangential component of the relative velocity here and vr u2 is the tangential component of the relative velocity here in the outlet triangle and vu1 is the tangential component of uh, v1 or the absolute velocity so this is the tangential component of v1 vu1 and uh, vu2 it, it is only this much in this in this outlet triangle. So V2 is this much. So this is the tangential component of V2 in the outlet triangle. So this is the and this is a right angle triangle. Just remember that. And these two, this is the this is these are the important triangles that you should know when analyzing a D-level turbine. Uh, now coming to the degree of reaction. Uh, sorry, the energy equation. Energy equation. This is the general equation. Wherein uh, energy equation is nothing but uh, the difference in kinetic energies uh, uh, when the fluid enters at uh, inlet and exit. So you subtract those. So we know that kinetic energy is given by half mv square. So all the velocities you consider, and uh, since the inlet velocities are uh, higher than the exit velocities in turbines, uh, you write those first v1 square minus v2 square u1 again. U, but here in axial flow turbine, u1 equal to u2, so it's all right. So u1 minus u2 square but we write vr2 square in general analysis of turbines because vr2 the relative velocity at outlet is going to be higher than the relative velocity at inlet because the absolute velocity at outlet decreases anyways coming back to this uh, uh, we know that u1 equal to u2 so that gets uh, cut cancelled though that becomes zero and vr2 we know that vr1 equal to vr2 so these two this also gets cancelled and this also becomes zero so now we are left with uh, e equal to m dot by 2 into v1 square minus v2 square that is the difference in the absolute velocities only uh, you bring this m down here so you get e by m dot is equal to half of v1 square minus v2 square so uh, done with that now uh, just near name this expression as 1 uh, now what we need to do is from these triangles you need to substitute or uh, bring out values in terms of vr1 vru1 uh, in terms of in terms of those uh, notations for v1 and v2 so now um, when we talk about v1 we will talk about the inlet triangle when when we talk about v2 we will talk about the outlet triangle uh, coming to inlet triangle uh, v1 so v1 this is v1 and this is a right angle triangle so v1 is going to be va square va1 square plus the whole thing v1 square so that's what i have written there i have named it as star and now again uh, what is va square so there's another right small right angle triangle here you can see so here you can see that Va square is going to be Vr square minus Vr u1 square that I have written there and uh, uh, what is Vu1? This Vu1 is going to be Vr u1 plus u 
right? So this this plus this is going to be v1. So v1 square is going to be v r u1 plus u the whole square. Now substitute these two uh, for these two in this equation. So when you substitute that and expand v r u1 plus u the whole square. So I have expanded that. So that time v r u1 and v r u1 will get cancelled here, and uh, you are left with v r square plus u square plus 2 u v r u1. So that is another equation. Name it as two. Now we need to substitute. So we got an expression for v1. So this is the expression for v1 which we will substitute here. Now we need an expression for v2. So v2 means outlet triangle. So consider the outlet triangle again a right angle triangle. So now v2 is the smaller one here. So v2 is going to be v2 plus v2 to the whole square. Sorry, v2 square plus v2 square. That is the uh, Pythagoras theorem. Uh, now substitute again v2. We need a value for uh, what uh, an expression for v2. So v2 we can see that it is uh, the bigger triangle. We can see that v2 is v r square minus v r to u square. I have written that here. And uh, v u2 is here. This is v u2. So this smaller one is v u2. So we need to sub subtract u from v r to u to get v u2. So we write v u2 the whole square. v u2 square is equal to v r to u minus u the whole square. And uh, you substitute these two again here. To get uh, an expression for uh, v2, uh, and yeah, so you get an expression for v2. So when you expand this, this is nothing but a minus b the whole square. That's what I have written it here. Vr2 square plus u, u square uh, minus 2u vr vr2u. Uh, sorry, this is a subscript. This u is not the blade. So this is a subscript. It's just like vru1. This is vr2u. Now. Uh, Again here, uh, we have to u square plus uh, minus we have to u square to get cancelled, and you'll get an expression for v2 square. Uh, it is uh, v r square plus u square minus 2 u v r 2 u. So you'll get an expression for v2 square. Now you substitute these two equations in equation one. So I have done that two and three in equation one. So you have e by m dot is equal to half of what is v1 square? This one. You substitute that. I have written that. And minus of v2 square. So v2 square is this one. Minus this is the minus sign. Minus of v2 square. Now we know that uh, here. So minus gets multiplied here. So we'll get minus v r square. We know that v r is same. So v r v r get can gets cancelled. And again u u square minus of u square. So again those two will get cancelled. Now we are left with 2 u v r u1 minus of minus 2 u v r u u v r u2. Uh, now uh, there is one more thing. Since the relative velocities are equal, and uh, the u is also same, you'll you'll get that v r u one will be equal to v sorry uh, v r u one will be equal to v r u two. So from that you can see that plus two u v r u one minus of minus two u v r u one. So you'll get plus. So minus of minus will become plus. So you'll write two u v r u one plus two u v r u one. That is equal to four u v r u one. One more important thing which I forgot to mention in the beginning uh, in terms of uh, axial turbine is that uh, the tangential component of the relative velocities are also going to be same. So because in axial well in axial um, flow turbines uh, or in any axial flow turbo machines in general, the axial components are also going to be same. So that's why v r u one will be equal to v r u two. Or we are it's we are U two, we are U one is going to be we are U two, so that that's why this this also becomes we are U one. So we are the this we are two U will become again we are U one. So that way when you add uh, minus of minus will become positive, so you'll get four times U into we are U one. So the, remember that also along with all these points. Remember that in an axial flow turbine, the we are U one will also be equal to we are U two. So that way, um, e by m dot is equal to four times u v r u one divided by two, and two times two is four, so you, two gets cancelled and you get two u into v r u one. That is the general uh, energy equation for a D-level turbine. That is an impulse single stage axial flow turbine. To recap it all, uh, just know these two uh, prerequisites. That is, u is constant, uh, relative velocity is constant. And uh, the tangential component of relative velocity, that is v r u one, will be equal to v r u two. And remember these two inlet triangles, uh, inlet and exit triangles, velocity triangles, and the energy equation. Remember that these two will get cancelled, so you'll be just left with the absolute velocities. And you need to bring out expressions for v1 and v2 in, from these triangles. And you substitute the, those expressions again here, 
and uh, after simplification you will end up with this, this expression. It will be in kilojoules per kg because m dot is in the denominator. If, if m dot is given in the question, it will go that side and it will become k only kilojoules. That is nothing but the work, work, work output. Um, if you have any more doubts or any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I will try and answer them. That's it guys. Thank you.